What's up guys, this is Jedith. Listen, times have been tough for us here the past few weeks. There hasn't been much to report on, and frankly, I can tell you guys just aren't interested in Havoc content until some major changes come our way. Which are, by the way. I can't say anything yet, but get ready. Now, I can't blame you for feeling that way. That's kind of where my head is at too. So today's video is going to be a bit of a different one. I'm not going to keep you here for long, and I'm not going to bore you with statistics or theory that you've heard me blabber on about in 10 different videos already. Today, I'm going to show you a cool little thing that has definitely flown under the radar since it was added to the game in 10.1 and can help liven things up as you tread through the boring muck that is World of Warcraft right now. With this one item, you'll be able to transform your dungeons from looking like this to this. It's like an entirely different place, right? This effect happens when you use the Stinky Bright Potion, a new recipe that alchemists can buy from Zerilac Caverns for 40 boulder bricks. Now, if you're not an alchemist, don't worry, you don't have to be one. You can easily snag these from the auction house for pretty cheap. Last time I checked, they were hovering around like 50 gold each. So I've been having a ton of fun roaming around the world, seeing what zones I can magically transform into something brand new. But some places seemingly work better than others. I've found that outdoor zones or places that have a determined weather are the best candidates. Sometimes you'll be completely surprised though. So go out on an adventure and let me know what cool environments you guys find. The best ones I've found that always turn heads on stream are the Underrot and Naltharian's Lair. Underrot morphs from a decrepit, disease-infested cesspool into something that almost mimics a winter wonderland, with some rot sprinkled on top, of course. Naltharian's Lair is a different can of worms, no pun intended. Using the potion as you travel through the caves truly opens your eyes to the vast Drogbar city that's been set up in the background. Sometimes you'll even stumble upon areas of the dungeon that you had no idea were even there. Did you know Naltharian's Lair has another path off to the left once you go down the waterfall? Strip away all the fog and you'll find a little path that leads to a huge cave. An empty cave, but a huge cave where obviously something very dangerous lives. Weird, right? So go have fun with this. Get yourself a fat stack of them and trade them to your party members next time you go to do a key. Give them a valid reason to invite you back next time as a Havoc Demon Hunter. We gotta take what we can get. We're desperate.